What's going on everybody? Jason Andrews, AKA the All-American Driver, and I just wanna talk you through today's video, okay? Going through the footage, I realized that I was a little excited. I might not have explained things exactly what was going on, so I'm just here as your guide on this video, okay? It might be a little bit of a long one, but I'm gonna to try to trim it down as much as I can. So let's just jump into it. Day two, the Bremerton Raceway event. There are two Whipple GT350Rs there that are both making um, over 800 to the tire. And then there's the Fat House 1000R twin turbo car. You'll notice I'm out of breath. I just ran to get my camera because I was just invited to go for a ride in what I think a 900 horsepower Whipple GT350R. And then I think I'm gonna be able to go for a ride in the Fat House 1000R car. This is like a dream come true for this, uh, this thing because I probably like you guys, I've been back and forth like, do I wanna go with a Whipple or do I want a twin turbo my GT350R? And so now I'm literally gonna be able to see front and back like how these cars drive. Are they too torquey? Are they still usable? Here we go. So I walked over to go talk to the um, to the GT350, the boosted guys, you know, I went and talked to them, you know, cause they, they recognize me. And um, before I could say anything, they basically handed me the keys to the orange uh, Whipple charged GT350R. So of, co of course I grabbed them and I jumped in the seat as I could, as fast as I could, right? Okay, so I think all of us are really going to appreciate this, okay? I did just drive the Whipple GT350R. This, this thing is making 950 or so um, at the crank. You know, I think he dynoed 830, 840, something like that. I, I can't believe I just drove that. Um, uh, more, more thoughts on that later. And then we have Tigran in the Fat House a 1000R car. So I, I know that you guys are like me, and if you're, we're like contemplating going blower or twin turbo, we're finally gonna see like which one realistically is faster in like kind of like a real world uh, scenario. So super pumped. I'm gonna try to get a good spot so I can see uh, how these cars drive, how they take off and things like that. Okay, Whipple GT350R, uh, 820 to the tire versus 1000R Fat House Twin Turbo Car. Whipple is on, is in the orange. say it looked like that fat house car jumped pretty hard out there uh, they both sounded really good though you could hear the twin turbo car sound a lot different than the Whipple though let me go see what happened looked like you jumped it pretty hard it's like you went a little early huh that's okay yeah it sounds awesome you guys gonna try to run again yeah okay Hey, do you mind? Can I come with you? Of course. Is that, are you sure? Yeah. Let me grab my helmet. So you had the, the 800R car, and then was it just not fast enough and you wanted the 1000R? What was? Uh, um, no, I think it's not the speed, but more, uh, I didn't upgrade the clutch with 800R. Mm. I, and what happened is when I was kind of going at it a few times, you know, after a couple of months, the, the clutch started slipping. And uh, and so I had to change it, and so I didn't want it a completely different shop to do the work. Yeah, I wanted to send it back for them to do it, and then I might as well, since I upgra upgraded the clutch, I might as well just kind of. It was kind of a low hanging fruit, basically. Yeah. Um, if the car was going there anyways, might as well put the Motec in and. Right. Yeah. And because with uh, yeah, that's another thing, is with 800R, 
um, I was just not getting the traction. I wasn't able to put the power down. So is um, this uh, uh, this setup is noticeably better than the 800R? I, I can just go full at the throttle and I won't care. Like nothing's gonna happen to wow. the car. Wow, huh. Like I never lost control. I never felt like instable. But in the 800R uh, without the Motec, it was a little yeah, squirrely. Yeah, I, I had to control it myself, uh, especially when the roads are wet and not ideal. Yeah. Like I had to be careful. But with Motec, it already knows like how much sleep you want it to happen. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of controls the power mm. and I don't have to do anything. Yeah. It that kind of feels sense. much safer and it feels like I'm focusing on driving rather than kind of making sure I don't crash <laughs> or lose yeah. control. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Huh. Um, and yeah, so even with 800R, I think Motec is, is, is a huge value add. Even, yeah. It justifies the expense in my mind, like in terms of how much overall experience. Like it basically completes the experience. Yeah. You know, of having a high power performance car. Yeah. It's, it's, your, it's your last chance, so. One and one only chance. Yeah. Okay. Well, who do we run against? Ugh. He was trying to get the uh, high, you know get the guy to run him the McLaren all, all day yeah. today. Yeah. 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 Okay, so the GT350R, the Whipple, he ditched us to race a McLaren. Fine, but we found an identical color 5.0 on nitrous. <laughs> that was the best, closest we could get to race. This is the best we can do. This thing is fast, man. That Mustang is pretty fast too, huh? Yeah. Nice, Good run, nice run. That was close. Huh? Close. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were coming for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go again. In the Fat House 8, uh, 1000R car versus a Whipple. Making about 8.30. We're gonna cut it up to this line so don't get back in line, okay? Okay.
the very last. Like, he he hit the red limiter too. Yeah. At the end. But I'm hitting it sooner, I guess. Very close. Yeah. Close yeah very close. close. Surprisingly, yeah. I thought for sure we were gonna come right around him, you know, at top of third, fourth gear, but he kept pulling too. So first impressions of the Whipple car, um, fast, loud and fast. Um, definitely more rowdy than the stock one. Um, and, and this is just, I think, just an email tune from uh, Palm Beach, I think is who, no, Lund, I'm sorry, Lund tuned that car. Uh, so fast, loud, torquey, but drove really good. You, you could drive that you know, every day minus the sound. And uh, yeah, I, I can't believe he let me drive it. <laughs> Sorry I didn't take my camera for you guys in there, but uh, you gotta trust me, okay, it was really fast. All right, so I'm back in my slow GT350R after really having the pleasure to ride in uh, Tigrin's 1000R Fat House Twin Turbo GT350, really, really thankful for that opportunity and then to also drive that Whipple uh, GT350R making you know 800 or so to the tire uh, if I had to just compare them really quick back to back because I was just in both of them you know at full power uh, you know it, within the last hour the fat house car and so you guys saw the footage I mean the fat house car lost um, to, to that Whipple build Granted, we were not on E85, so that was basically like an 800 horsepower um, uh, setup right there. So that was like 800 horsepower versus 820 horsepower from the Whipple car. So no surprise, we did lose that race. On E85, that would have been much different story, I think, because that's another 150 or so horsepower for the twin turbo car. Uh, I know this is getting confusing. Whipple, twin turbo, GT350, GT350R, back and forth, back and forth, Got, you know, complicated. The twin turbo car from Fat House runs smoother than the Whipple cars do. But the Whipple cars are rowdy, man. Rowdy, loud, and you guys saw, like, fast. I mean, we couldn't, I thought for sure we were gonna pull around um, that Whipple car, and we didn't. That thing just kept pulling and pulling and pulling, and, and we did not catch him. Uh, so anyways, take, take that for what it is. I think, for me personally, I would still lean towards the Fat House build only because it is just so clean and smooth and and you got the Motec system. But I wonder if, if they're running like Motec systems with the Whipple kit. I don't know if I've seen that yet. Um, maybe something to consider in the future. I'm not sure uh, what's going on with that. Um, Fat House, if you ever watch this video, you know, um, please, you know, take my car, right? Uh, no, I'm kidding, but, you know, may maybe someday. Um, that is definitely the way to go, okay? I'm just super pumped. Yeah, ready. Ready. Everyone's just having a good time. Thanks so much, uh, you know, for the event people, Northwest Motorsports, uh, to kind of put this on and, and just having a good time. Anyways, very happy. I lost both my races, basically, to Vipers. And then I got to ride in basically 1,000 horsepower GT350. It's a perfect day. I hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe if you got something out of this video. Um, really helping the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.